Welcome back. At this stage of the game, we're going to be toning the canvas with some neutral colors. I've got my palette laid out here. I've got some yellow okra. I've got some red and black and some white. We're going to grab a pretty good sized brush. We're going to come in here with some of the yellow okra and just start laying it in different places across the across the canvas. We're going to add a little black when we add black to a color, we're shading it. When we add white to a color, we're, we're tinting it. But either way, we're graying it down. Come around the sides. introduce a little bit of this red. I don't want any bright colors right now, but I want to take this towards an, a more brown tone. Well, this is a very grayed, grayed down brown, but that's all right. When we're working with a color, it's important that we that we move that color around the canvas. Don't just stay stuck in one spot. I have some Cronacridone Gold here, which is a lovely color. I have my spray bottle. At this point, we want to keep things fairly wet, really loose. And we're not... We're not thinking too much about the finished product. So if we can get some drips in here, that'd be even better. There we go. Now that's wet. Yeah, okay. There we go. It's, see, it's running. You probably can't see it on the camera, but in the... Later on, you'll be able to see what it did. All right. So. 
So we basically covered this whole painting, this whole canvas, I mean. And got rid of all that ugly white. Okay, so I've got a new color down there. I might want to bring it up over here. And now one thing some people don't know one thing some people don't know is that you can use you can use acrylics with any other water media. So you can use them with watercolor, you can use them with inks. I have some inks here. And these, um, these just add, a, again, they just add another dimension to the overall painting. The way they, the way they behave on a canvas on the way inks bleed and See, that's, that's something. You know, how much of that will be in the final painting, we don't know. But I think that's a good, a good place to stop for the moment. We'll let the painting rest a little bit, and then we'll come back to it.